Here it is. What do you think, Pierre? Which one do you like better? Do you think Stanley is here to stay in 2024 or do you think it's replaced by Hydro Flask? Hydro Flask just released this new tumbler that looks exactly like Stanley, but what are the differences? <laughs> I am going to do an unboxing of the new Hydro Flask tumblers and compare it to the Stanley 40 ounce quencher tumbler. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button for more videos like this so you can support my channel. It means so much to me, so thank you so much. Here is the new Hydro Flask. I am excited to unbox this. There's been a lot of question about the comparison of the Stanley versus the Hydro Flask. So I'm gonna do a complete unboxing of the Hydro Flask and compare it directly to the Stanley and see what the differences are. If you haven't yet, check out my Why Stanleys Are So Popular video where I discuss the brand of Stanley, how it got started, and why people like Stanley so much and why they became so popular. What you may not know is that Stanleys were actually founded in 1913. Fast forward to 2016, Stanley introduced their Quencher 40 ounce bottle that is so popular today. Stanley's most successful item propelled Stanley's annual sales from 70 million in 2019 to 750 million in 2023. So now I'm unboxing the Hydro Flask. Let's get started. Here it is. All right, this is the new Hydro Flask, a 40 ounce tumbler. Can you guess what color I got? <laughs> Look at this. It is the same size as the Stanley Quencher Hydro Flask. Here are the side-by-side -side comparison of them. They're pretty similar. Um, I also have the light pink color in the Stanley as well as light pink in the Hydro Flask. Pink is my favorite color in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> I really like the lid. This is the top of the lid and it has a pink straw that comes with it. It's actually a silicone straw, so it does bend, which is pretty nice. This is the other part of the straw, so it looks like the silicone piece comes off of the plastic piece. So I could probably actually get glass straws and then replace the top part of this. Yep, see it does come apart. So then I can put in whatever straw I like on top with this piece so that it sits right on top. This is the top of the lid and this little straw just fits right back in there seamlessly. I do like that the top of this is bendable. This is their Hydro Flask all around travel, travel tumbler with a flexible straw. It's cup holder compatible, just like the Stanley. And it's also dishwasher safe, BPA free. It has a temp shield, double wall, vacuum insulated. And I do like Hydro Flask brand. I do have their regular little Hydro Flask thermal. I use it for coffee if I'm traveling or something. And when I saw that they came out with these, I was excited to try them out and kind of see the comparison between the Stanley. I do like Stanleys because they fit in cup holders in the car and I travel a lot. So it's nice having that big container of water so I can drink more water throughout the day. I have two of them because when one's dirty, then I use the other one. So I didn't just get a bunch of colors and just, you know, I don't need endless Stanleys, but I do like the two that I have. I wanted to try this one just to do a comparison, so um, I will be using this one as well. So far, I do like it. It honestly feels very similar to the Stanley. Um, the lid is obviously completely different. This one's slightly wider, a little bit shorter than this one. The handle is all plastic instead of having the little bit of grip 
like the Stanley has. Another very important point about the Hydro Flask is that the price is actually $39.95, whereas the Stanleys go for $40 to $45, depending on where you get it from. So this one is slightly more affordable if you're looking for a more affordable option that's also name brand. This is a better option. I like that the lid is very flat. So let's open it up now. This is how the lid goes on. There's a little rubber band right here around it. And as you can see, it's just a very thin um, plastic lid. The inside, all insulated, stainless steel. So basically what it comes down to is if you are a fan of Hydro Flask, this is a great option for you. Or if you don't like the Stanley lids, then this is a different lid option that you can choose as well as the bendable straw, which I think is really neat. Will this be the newest trend of 2024 or do you think Stanleys are here to stay? Let me know your thoughts and thank you so much for watching.